Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. Today's demonstration is a quick sketch of a Thames sailing barge returning home at sunset. Uh, this is a totally imagined scene and I thought the red sails would make a, a pleasing compliment to the yellow sky. Uh, I rarely paint sunsets but I was asked to show how I would go about it so here goes. The paper I'm using is Saunders Wadford 300 gram rough paper and I've masked out the sails of the boat to allow me to paint the sky and the sea more freely. I'm starting with uh, lemon yellow, uh, leaving a white circle uh, in the centre to, to suggest the sun, rem remembering all the time to uh, replicate the reflection in the sea. I'm painting on dry paper and I'm using clean water to soften edges and help with the blending. Just added a touch of pyrrol orange to the yellow mix and uh, I'm blending that in to the sky and the reflection. Not trying to be too accurate but um, getting a, a pretty good, good reflection of what's in the sky. This is um, ultramarine blue and I've just let, uh, let that mix in a little bit with the pyrrole orange to create this uh, bluey grey uh, sky and reflection in the sea. And just gently overlapping the, uh, the yellow and orange clouds just to let the colours blend together. And always trying to uh, replicate the reflection of what's in the sky. I'm just strengthening the uh, the sky towards the uh, distant uh, horizon. Thames uh, sailing barges were once a common sight uh, around the Thames estuary and along the uh, Kent and Essex coasts and they are distinctive for their uh, red rusty red sails and uh, these days you see uh, quite a few uh, restored boats sailing around the area. I think they plied their trade mainly around the uh, 19th century but they are a graceful looking boat and I just thought it would make a nice, um, nice addition to this uh, imagined sunset scene. I'm going to let this all dry and uh, now that it has done I'm just I've just added a touch of jadeite green to the uh, the sea mix and um, just strengthening that horizon and just suggesting a hint of distant hills to the right but um, barely, barely visible in the fading evening light just putting some streaks in the water just to break up the, uh, the look of the sea. For the hull of the boat I'm just using a fairly strong mix of neutral tint. And for the sails uh, I'm using a cadmium red mixed with a small amount of burnt sienna. Thames barges have one large sail in the middle, a smaller sail at the back, uh, which is barely visible because of the angle of the boat. And the, the foresail is, um, is a different colour, it's, uh, it's sort of an off-white colour, so for that I'm going to use um, Naples yellow. Painting a reflection in the sea, just breaking it up so that uh, it's not just one solid uh, reflection. Just add a little bit of blue to the mix just to put some shadows on the sail. And again, putting the same thing in the reflection. 
just adds a little bit of depth to the uh, the boat. Just using the side of an old credit card to uh, just put the uh, the mast in the main mast. Just using some opaque white uh, gouache to uh, put some of the boat's edging detail and uh, some highlights on that uh, front sail. Just a few final touches really. A few more blue streaks in the sea just to break it up a little bit. And a bit dark there so I've dabbed that off with a, a piece of uh, paper towel. A few final touches to reflection and I think I'm pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this demonstration useful. If you did so, please give it a like. It always helps with YouTube. Uh, do subscribe if you're not a subscriber and uh, hit the notification bell for future videos. I tr tried to put one out uh, once a week or so. And thanks again for watching.